Welcome back, everybody, to Oslander's Break Sun. This is going to be on YouTube as break number 336. This is a 2012 Panini Contenders Football 12 box case break. Pick your team case break number 24. Let me pull up the screen share mode here and we'll go ahead and go over our teams and participants right quick. Got Hawks in the win with the 49ers and the Bears. Rocket Fan A6 with the Bengals. K and LA A3 with the Bills. No Shelter with the Broncos. Radar 0311 with the Browns. B Jensen 23 with the Bucks. The Real Smitty with the Cardinals. H Texans with the Chargers. Leo Inc. with the Chiefs. Don Juan Bob with the Colts. Laser 9431 with the Cowboys. Hawks in the win with the Dolphins. Tron 1 with the Eagles. Laser 9431 with the Falcons. Radar 0311 with the Giants. Well Old with the Jaguars. Hawks in the win with the Jets. Gregerson with the Lions. Miggs 00721 with the Packers. Oslander 79 with the Panthers. Well Old with the Patriots. Don Juan Bob with the Raiders. Well Old with the Rams. Coach D23, welcome to the room, bud. Chris has got them Ravens. Right outs card with the Redskins. Hawks and win with the Saints. Leo Inc. with the Seahawks. Hawks and win with the Steelers. No shelter with the Texans. Fresh MWJ with the Titans. And Hawks in the win with the Vikings. Good luck, everybody. And normally this stuff would ship out on Monday. It came to my attention that Monday is a so called holiday. This stuff will be going out Tuesday along with everything else from the week. Um, if y'all ever need anything shipped out any sooner, let me know and I'll accommodate. But just for uh, keep costs down and just to make shipping a little easier on myself as well. I normally just ship once a week. And thanks to you guys. We did do five contenders this week, including this one and a case of museum. So it was an awesome week. Big thanks to Mr. Ride out of the museum there for sure. And everything ships except for veteran base, even the non-numbered inserts. I know some breakers aren't shipping those, but I've been shipping them. I do have a couple people that tell me they don't want them, so if you don't want them, just let me know and I'll add you to the list and just won't ship those. And anything numbered or autographed will be penny sleeved and top loaded, of course. If we have any dual autographs or any points, they'll be random off at the end. We have points that we ran them off to everybody in the break. And I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, one of the guys that comes through and hangs out all the time, I saw Jesse mention the Vince Mailey Super Bowl ticket. One of those has already been pulled. Steve, Car Shark 36. Got that one. I was talking about it a couple different times. Could be Joel. Oh Lord. I saw a meme the other day and thought about you, Brian, but it was too cruel considering the time and I saw it. It was a picture of a PS4 and it said where where the Brown where the Cleveland Brown Super Bowl dreams finally come true. I was like, I ain't gonna send it. <laughs> I was hurting myself at the time. I wasn't going to do it. Oh, dang. Can't even afford the cable to watch it. That's pretty, that's pretty jacked up. Our last couple of cases have been pretty nice. 
we had a little bit of a eh case before those two. I think we were, uh, was it, what are we up to? Five Super Bowl tickets, five vet, auto, uh, excuse me, five vet autos to five, and one vet auto to ten. We had a luck. Emmett Smith. Our last one was a JJ Watt to ten. Who else we had? We had Flacco, McFadden. Uh, I'm leaving out one of our vet hits. Same one I always forget about, I believe. Our nicest Super Bowl ticket was the Amari Cooper. Had a Cameron Artist Payne, Geno Grisham, Sean Payton coaches ticket, Super Bowl ticket. And I think I'll leave one of them out too. It's about that time. About that time to see a vet hit our Super Bowl ticket. We did have two one ones last night. We had the Magenta Ty Gurley printing plate redemption. Oh, we had three one ones technically. We had a we had a uh, lesser player printing plate auto as well. But we did have the uh, Jeremy Langford rookie ink one of one. <coughs> Box number one. Let's get it. Let's see what we got in this one. First up, we got a CJ Anderson, 64 of 99 championship ticket. He did better than I thought he would in the old Super Bowl. I thought they'd shut him down. He had a couple of nice runs. And our first autograph is the ever present Ray Neal Hall rookie ticket for the Bucks. Yeah. You don't see a lot of that guy. <laughs> that case hit. The great thing about contenders, you normally can't even really pinpoint a so called case hit. A lot of products are going that way though nowadays. I know that first museum case we had, I don't know if you could really pin, uh, you know, there was a uh, metal frame and the jumbo R RPA, which are considered case hits, but there were several cards in that that were, were bigger than those. Darren Waller, rookie ticket. Another guy we see a lot for the Ravens. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Renew Hall again. Uh oh. For the Eagles, Jordan Hicks. That is the rookie ticket, Jordan Hicks, for Tron and the Eagles, I remember. Cool looking autograph on that one. Next up is Josh Robinson for the Colts. That's also a regular rookie ticket. That's autograph number four, box one. So hopefully we got two more. We did have a couple of boxes in last night's case that was only had five. That's all they really guarantee. But majority have six.
we had a super nice case last night, but it was really weird, and we had no cracked ice. I don't know if we've ever seen that before out of contenders. We have had cases only had one, but I don't, I don't recall out of the, like, 70 or 80 we busted since 2013, we've ever had one with zero. Tyler Croft rookie ticket for the Bengals. That's a Joel hit. Yep, this is definitely one of those that are going to... The one, the one hit is going to kind of uh, try to make up for the whole box. I've kind of already seen it. I uncovered it by earlier when I picked up a stack. And we do have one nice one in here. We was talking about him earlier. I'm going to, going to Gregerson. On card, RPS rookie ticket of Amir Abdullah for the Lions. Very nice. Oh, Clint's not even here to see it. He'll be checking out the recap. Later on, I do a uh, recap at the end of every box for the guys that haven't been around here lately. And then I do a full recap of all the hits at the end, too. And that was it for box number one. So we had the Mir Abdullah rookie ticket on card. We also had rookie tickets of Tyler Croft, Josh Robinson, Jordan Hicks, Darren Waller, and Ray Neal Hall. Abdullah was definitely the biggest card in that box. Yeah, there was only one packer last night. Hope it was better for you, Mark. You never know from case to case, though. I have like two or three guys who are always asking me, so did Winston or Mariota hit last case? Because I'm going to take the other team. I'm like, man, that's not how it works. <laughs> Like, we've had Winston in three cases, but we've also went, like, seven or eight cases in a row without a Winston. So you never know. The first ten cases I had, there was more Mariota, but the last ten, there's been more Winston. So you never know. None of that tonight. Amir Abdullah is the only thing we're talking about so far. This is just the second box there. Pack ripped all funky. <coughs> Alright, box number two. First up is Sinquez Golson for the Steelers as a rookie ticket. Old Sinquez.
I got a Kelvin Benjamin 109 of 199 playoff ticket for them Panthers. Best record in the NFL this year. Next up for the Raiders is Michael Dwyer. That is a rookie ticket. Yeah, wasn't that you that told me about that this morning or last night? Some Somebody hit me up. I was half asleep still and told me about it. And then Rideout mentioned it earlier, too. I couldn't remember who it was, Mark. I was half asleep when I saw that, dude. I, I thought it was you. I haven't even looked yet. I don't have any points, man. They sent me cards with three corners dinged the first and only time I redeemed any point so any ones I've got since then I've just sold playoff ticket Tyler Croft 37 to 125 and $24 Bengals already doing work two hits in the first two boxes building the rainbow that's right about Rashad Green. That'll be own card rookie of the year contender. This one is 179 of 199 for the old Jaguars. That other expansion team. Isn't that what I normally say? Rashad Green. Shad, Rashad. His mama named him Rashad, so just saying. To me, Shad is bait, but that's a whole different story. That's all that's been on my mind lately. Going doing some catfishing. Throw the cast net out, catch some Shad, and get it in. Deron, Bat Deron Brown for the Chiefs. Rookie ticket. That's autograph number five. We need another one to spice this one up. But Rashad's not bad, but come on, man. That's five autographs already. These cards here, I didn't say so earlier, guys, but I just divide these up evenly instead of going to random. They're all non-numbered. If we have any that's numbered, we'll go to random with it. Or whoever's got the teams can make a decision. But if I have an odd amount, like three, one will go to each team, and the odd one will go to whoever has the least amount of autographs between the two. Well, last one is Eric Armstead, 9 of 99 championship ticket for the 49ers. Yep, that was a very weak box. I guess the the shad there is supposed to be the the bigger one, but that was that was a weak weak box. That would have been one of those like uh, whenever I buy a, sing, a a single box, which I haven't done since two thousand thirteen, except for one. Every time I buy a loose box, that's what I get. Eric Armstead championship ticket to ninety nine. Deron Brown rookie ticket, Rashad Green on card to 199 rookie of the year contender, Tyler Cross playoff ticket to 125, Michael Dwyer and Sinquez Golston rookie tickets. That first arm said. Mm, I don't know. I might give that one a D, but you said a D on the first one. The first one definitely went a D. 
with the Abdullah. That was at least a C, not a C plus, just to have the Abdullah. <sighs> I might agree with a D on that one, though. I agree, Chris. I agree. There's a lot of boxes where you only see one like bigger hit. We had a uh, we had a couple last night where there was like three or four. Well, we had a bunch that had three. We had like two that had four bigger hits out of six though in a box. Out of 24 cases, I feel like we've only had five cases that were average. So. Pretty damn good. Hopefully this is not going to be number six. We still got plenty of time more to go. We just busted up in box three. Ooh, that sounds awesome to me, Joel. And he said they'll just build a new one near you. It looks like I'm going to get something microwavable since uh, Chrissy will probably be about ready for bed by the time I get off here. I'm probably not going to do my normal hangout session at the end of the break tonight. Go ahead and see if I can keep awake for a little while. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Chick-fil-A sounds good too. Box number three. Let's see what we got. First up is Benodrick McKinney. That is a variation rookie ticket. We have not seen him very much. He was actually in last night's case too, though. Second round pick. I think he's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. I remember hearing about him when he got drafted. I am not sure if that's a short print or not, sir. One of y'all could consult the list and let us know. Super short print, really? Let me pull them in two cases in a row. Wow. Okay, that's pretty crazy. We just don't know what the production run is yet. I need to go ahead and get that list out. They got to get it out before National Treasures. Next up is Kenny Bell. Free ticket. Another guy we see quite a bit. Yep. That last team mojo is real. So they had seven, I know they had a bunch. A couple were duplicates. Ravens had a bunch of autographs last night, too. 109 of 199. Colin Kaepernick. Yep, I said it. Playoff ticket. Who is it? Another hit for the Bengals, Mario Alford. That is a rookie ticket. Hmm. I don't know anything about either one of them.
Wow. Again for the Bengals. Paul Dawson, rookie ticket. Oh, Sean, the resident uh, gator wrestler. All right, so we got two autographs left. One's going to be redemption. Let's do that one last. That could be a big one. Let's go ahead and skip it for right now. Save that one for last. I have a feeling it might be Matt Jones for some reason. Maybe not as big as, as the first thought. I think it might be Matt Jones. That's what I'm calling. Mixie says Cooper. That was my initial thought, but normally, I don't know. Cooper's normally a company, a company with a little bigger name, so it would depend on this, I guess. Devin Smith, that's not a bad one. Devin Smith, on-card rookie ticket for the Jets. Jets have been uh, hitless in a couple of cases lately, which didn't happen in any of our first few. And that should be it other than the redemption, and it is. Good luck, everybody. Rookie championship ticket RPS variation Philip Dorset for the Colts. Philip Dorset going to Don Juan Bob. I believe we pulled this exact same one for him last year, uh, last night. Uh, just a Ray Neal Hall and a Kenny Bell. Ben, this is the third box we just finished. Ray Neal Hall and Kenny Bell, the usual suspects. So we had the rookie championship ticket RPS variation Philip Dorset for the Colts. We also had an on card Devin Smith. And we had rookie tickets of Paul Dawson, Mario Alford, Kenny Bell, and Bernardrick McKinney, which is a variation rookie ticket and super short print. I'll put that in a little, little better stack there. Go over at the end. Door set definitely prominent. We had two door sets last night. We had that one, and we had the college variation championship ticket. So the two nicer ones. Minus cracked ice or super old ticket anyway. Now Don Juan Bob Chris is a uh, Colts fan that hangs out in the room a lot. He's about the only Colts fan I have. He grabs them a lot. He's going to have to get him a nice display case for his wall when they all come in to display them. He's going to have some e door sets. He just about got them all the different ones at this point. Just about. Number four. Let's get into this one and see what we got going on. About time for it to heat up. Need to see some cracked ice here. Nice to see a bigger name cracked ice. Oh my goodness. Deron Smith. Nice penmanship this guy has. For the Bengals rookie ticket. 
Thank you, Joel. Joel's posting the next case for Monday there if anybody wants to lock in a team. After I get the video up and everything later on tonight, I'll post that, clear the chat, and get everything posted in the room, too. The Bengals. Jake Waters for the Seahawks. He's a quarterback. as a rookie ticket. We have a numbered pennant of Andrew Luck, 24-199 for the Colts. Put that to Ron. Another autograph for the Bucks, Dominic Brown, rookie ticket. So he's looking to get a picture of Scott Hall, putting him in a headlock. That's what I want to see anyway. I want to see a picture of him in a headlock with his wife smiling. Scott Hall. Zach Zinner, Ricky Ticket. Hey yo. Say hello to the bad guy. Zach Zinner, Ricky Ticket. I know uh, there's a couple guys around the site that are collecting this guy. It's like a twenty dollar card. <coughs> yeah, we got a redemption coming up. Uh, why not? We'll just save it to the end. There's only one more autograph anyway. So we'll do the rest of the stuff here. Who's everybody's guess on the redemption? Here's our other autograph coming up. Marcus Golden for the Cardinals. Mickey says Winston. I'm going to stick with Matt Jones. But I hope you're right. Tevin Coleman, Joel says. Marcus Golden. <laughs> Paul Dawson. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy if it's like the Paul Dawson Super Bowl ticket. Yeah, Marcus, Marcus Golden's in it a lot. Uh, Mark, I don't know where with the funny. Alright. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what it is. <laughs> We're all wrong. Rookie ticket, Ty Gurley. Speaking of Mark, that's you, Mark. Well, old. Congrats, buddy. That Gurley. I was surprised somebody didn't snatch them up last night. I was surprised they're still there today. You're welcome, bud. Thanks for getting in, man. But we had the girly Ricky ticket. We also had Ricky tickets of Marcus Golden, Zach Zinner, which isn't a terrible one, Dominic Brown, Jake Waters, and Deron Smith. I don't know if you can give a box with a girly in it a beat. I don't know. You're on that uh, West Coast grading scale or something. Ty Gurley. Rookie ticket. I 
Okay, we're not halfway through yet. We'll be playing more Bengals. Box number five, y'all. You can see some cracked ice. Who's going to be the other bigger hit with the girly? There's always at least two, just about always. If not three or four. Yeah, I've had some cases that add up to four. Some big names. Yeah, some of the guys got got theirs back yesterday, I was told, but I haven't actually seen pictures of them yet. I know J, JJ, J Burks said his four for me were supposed to come yesterday. And uh, I can't remember who else it was. Oh, Jamie, Pat Fen 87. His was supposed to come today, I believe. Either that or Monday, I can't remember what he said. Supposed to come soon. They got those out pretty quick. I guess for, I know JJ just hit his week before last. Alright, box number five. Let's get it. First up is a Jalen Collins. This is Kevin's favorite autograph. He said it looks like a three-leaf clover. And it uh, pretty much does. Jalen Collins, Ricky Ticket for the Falcons. Next up is a rookie ticket of Jeremy Davis for the Giants. And we got an AJ Green pennant, 88 of 99 for the Bengals. That Giants did really well last night. Still needed a landing Collins. Uh, what's up? What's up with the giving up before we're even halfway through? Might as well just tap out from the gate. Deron uh, Grant, rookie ticket for the Steelers. Look, Joel's on it. Joel knows it. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? I hear you. Next up for the Bills, that Florida State boy, Nick O'Leary. I don't know what's up with my camera, fellas. Can't get no better focus than that. Come on, man. Nick O'Leary. So we should have two more in this box. Next one up is Danielle Hunter, 
rookie ticket for the Vikings. Say word, Kev. Well, it's somebody the other night they had the Vikings in the very last hit was Steph, uh, Stephon Diggs. A nice Stephon Diggs. So you never know. I'm not too keen on these boxes. They only have one decent card in them. I don't know what's up with that. Kind of getting annoying to me at this point. That's not what we've been typically seeing. Look at that. Speaking of Stefan Diggs, variation rookie ticket on card. He does have a crappy autograph. But he's a beast of a player. Variation rookie ticket. I believe Andy had them. So that should be it. Let's see if maybe there's something extra. We have had a couple of boxes with seven autographs. It's a long shot, but still possible. And that would be a negative. So we had our uh, variation rookie ticket, Stefan Dix. Rookie tickets of Daniel Hunter, Nick O'Leary, Dorian Grant, Jeremy Davis, and Jalen Collins. Huh. Gotta heat up eventually, right? Uh, either one of those guys, the 101 instead of the 5 or 10. There's 16 of every one of those guys. I already know there's been 3 or 4 of the Emmett Smiths and 3 or 4 of the Berries pool. We pulled one of the Emmett's for 5. A Barry Sanders would be absolutely disgusting. Barry Sanders got to have Bula to go along with it. Manning gold, that'd be sick. What a gold ticket. See what box number six holds. First up is Gerard Holloman as the regular rookie ticket for the Steelers. Holla at your boy Holloman. Next up is Tyrell Williams for the Chargers rookie ticket.
Uh, Josh Robinson for the Colts. That is the variation playoff ticket, 15 of 49 of Josh Robinson. Variation playoff ticket. Camera just does not want to cooperate tonight. And gotta be. So we'll go ahead and get one of each to even things out here. Doesn't seem like there's been near as many numbered cards like that. Either it's been mostly rookie tickets. If the second half is like the first half, it'll be the worst case out of the 24 we've had. I just say it on, on, on the record. So the second half has to be better. It's gotta be. I mean, we've had some awesome cases in the same batch. Here's our first random between the Bills and the Jaguars. 141 of 199, Carlos Williams and Rashad Green. Who had the Jags? Jag went too well old. That's between Mark and Kevin. If one of you guys want to defer to the other one. It's up to y'all. If not, we'll run that one at the end. Probably about a dollar twenty-five card. Maybe. Mark says Bills can have it. I'll send that one to Kevin. <laughs> Kevin said Jags can have it. One of y'all get it. I just give it to whoever's got the, the lowest stack. How about a J a J? That's not bad. Playoff ticket on card ninety three of one ninety nine for the Dolphins. That's a nice one. Looking for two more autographs here. Down to the nitty gritty. There's one of them. It's not Aguilar you just mentioned, but it is another Eagle. Eric Rowe, rookie ticket. Should have one more autograph here in box number six. And we don't. What the hell? Oh, shorter than autograph, guys. It does say on the box. Five on average. Only got five in that one. Eric Rowe, rookie ticket. Jay Ajayi, playoff ticket on card to 199. Jay Ajayi, whatever. Josh Robinson, playoff ticket to 49. Variation playoff ticket, Tyra Williams and Gerard Holloman. Lord. Alright, guys, let me move these off the table and we'll carry on with the second half. Second half's got to be way better, right? I sure hope so, guys. Yeah, it definitely needs to heat up. Like I said, it's so far, this is tra tracking, trending, whatever. It'll be the worst case out of 24 we've had, so let's see some heat in the second half to change that. We can still pull it out here. Still got plenty of time. I'm disappointed myself in that first half. <laughs> I 
Like I said, that, if it was up to me, everyone would be banging. Like, there's this right here has hardly nothing in it. I can tell just by filling that pack. How many cards must be in a pack? Five cards per pack. Look at this pack. We're going to look at this pack right now. I have never felt one like this. And it's supposed to be five cards plus the two filler cards. Uh, this will be lucky if it has like one or two cards in it. Two base and a kid reporter. I could tell when I felt that something was up wrong. Hopefully that wasn't one of the ones that was supposed to have an autograph coming. Because this is what a regular pack looks like. One, two, three, four, and then the the insert. I guess they either have the good iron or the kid reporter. Possibly Jesse. We got a Topps Museum case that had no Jumbo Jumbo RPA in it. The same case did have a uh, one of one sketch card in it of Big Ben, but the Jumbo RPA is supposed to be a guaranteed hit. Uh, we've already opened uh, three cases that we got in the same batch when I ordered this one, and all you know, two of the three were really nice. One was average. Yeah, that's what Sean just said is definitely true there. Yeah, hopefully the first half just happened to be that half. <laughs> Hopefully they just all kind of hit in the order, which, I mean, we got, got a J a J, we got the Stefan Diggs, we got the Amir Abdullah, so we did get at least three really nice ones, a couple of short prints, a few other, like, $20 cards. It wasn't absolutely terrible, but it was pretty bad. But we got the Gurley, I'm not even counting the Gurley, actually, if you look back at it, it wasn't terrible. With those I just named and the girly on top. I heard that, Jesse. Oh, man. Box number seven. See something. Jesse James, he's not a bad player. Ooh, I want that. <laughs> Variation cracked ice, Jesse James. The tight end for the Steelers. Yep, short print of 23. <laughs> 17 of 23. His regular one is a, is a short print like that, though. Very nice, Andy. We got to talk. I was falling asleep on you last night, too, when we were talking about that other one. I don't know. His first name looks a little funky on that one. Like he skipped a loop there, and the pin lifted up off of the card, a sticker on him. All right, let's keep the cracked ice coming. Let's see about four more, all autoed. Come on now, we've had like four boxes that had two in the same box, so they're not a bad one. Quan Alexander for the Bucks. Apparently, he doesn't sell for much, but he's a beast of a player. Rookie ticket. Sub subpar for sure, Sean. We ain't done yet though. For the Panthers, Jonathan Stewart, 145 of 199 playoff ticket. Stew. Ifo, Eek Prey, Olamu. 
rookie ticket for the Browns. Browns on the board. Alright, Andy said his internet went out. He's going to have to watch the video later. Just got a text from him. That was the third autograph of box number seven. Yeah, I'm sorry, Andy, buddy. I think I'm just being a little too more too down on, on the first half. I think you're right. Looking back at the hits, it's like that sometimes after you do a whole case. I forgot what was hit at the very beginning. By the time you get through a long one like this, it really wasn't too bad. Just all those boxes with just one decent hit was the killer. We do have a redemption coming up. We also have a Dreamus Smith rookie ticket for the Chargers. And that redemption. I want to stick with Matt Jones, but I'm going to say Jameis for my boy Ben over there. I'll go ahead and set it to the side. See if we uh, get something else spicy with it here. With this last auto. Oh Lord. Vince Maley, that is the 66 of 99 playoff ticket on card. Yeah, Crowder's live. We had one of him last night. That Duke boy. And last a little bit here. Nothing to speak of. At least we did get our six autographs this time. Good luck, everybody. Rookie of the Year contender, autograph, RPS, Matt Jones. I just had a feeling it was going to be a Matt Jones. Matt Jones, huh? So we had the Matt Jones, the Vince Maley playoff ticket to 99. That is the variation playoff ticket. It's the 2D helmet for the Browns instead of the bigger 3D one. Uh, rookie tickets of Dreamus Smith, Ifo Ikpre Olamu, and Quan Alexander. And we had the Variation Cracked Ice rookie ticket, 17-23, Jesse James. For the Steelers. That was a little better box. You really think so? That box right there was? Real I'll say three of the six went in the better paw. I didn't think that one was bad at all. Matt Jones, Jesse James, and the Quan Alexander. It's questionable, you know. Quan can go in either stack. I think he's a good enough player. We should belong in the better hit, so you know he's not worth much. Yeah, he's been here since he's been in the shower. Box number eight. Can't forget about the cracked ice, son. Need a partner for that girly. There's gonna be something else, a bigger name in here. And several more like middle end guys.
There are uh, 29 teams left, unless somebody's bought some teams in the store for Monday. Um, I didn't realize it till the day. I really didn't realize it till I got an email, and then I forgot about even that. But President's Day, to me, is, I don't know why that's a holiday. But uh, post office is closed Monday, so everything's going to go out Tuesday. I'll get everything together this weekend for you guys, So have it ready to drop off first thing Tuesday morning. Box number eight. Let's get it. Right off the bat, we got a Philip Rivers, that NC State boy, Pennant. That one is 89 of 99. Carlos and Ronald Darby. We have not seen too many Darbys. He must be a short print. I don't know if we've seen any actually. I think we had one though. Dominique Brown. That's a, another duplicate rookie ticket for the Bucks. Didn't we have a Darby early on though? I'm not sure. We own about uh, 17 or 1800 autographs so far this year, just out of contenders. It's hard to remember. He could be one of those guys that's still like 10 or something. It'll be crazy. Crazy money. Deron Smith. Second one of those we've seen. Ricky Ticket. Nice penmanship, though. For the Bengals. Joel up to about, what, seven autographs now with the Bengals? Frank Clark is a beast of a player. Frank Clark for the Seahawks rookie ticket. It's a nice one. That one is sure to go up in value. He's a great player. Still looking for three more in this one. Oh my goodness. Second, Marcus Golden. Rookie ticket for the Cardinals. Ah, yeah, Lord. What up, Nelson? What's going on, son? The two Nellies in the same same room at the same time again I thought earlier man about texting you and seeing if you want the Titans for Monday but I forgot to text you I don't know I think there may have been some teams bought in the store since we went live here I don't know if they're still available or not JJ Nelson for the Cardinals that boy fast see the other autographs let's just go ahead and get there to it that is going to be our second Stefan Diggs this time the regular rookie ticket of Stefan Diggs for the Vikings <laughs> that cool last name uh, Nelson's went two of three with the Titans. He's hit two Mariotas out of his three shots with me so far. He was talking about maybe grabbing them in this one. Somebody had already got them though before we talked. They were already gone in this one. That should be it in this one. That is six autographs. It'd be nice if they had those seven in one of these to make up for the one box that only had five there. 
But that's not going to happen in this one. So we had the Stefan Diggs rookie ticket on card. We also had rookie tickets of JJ Nelson, Marcus Golden, Frank Clark, which is a great player, Deron Smith, and Dominique Brown. Now he hasn't yet. I would expect to see a Mariota, Winston, or Cooper in one of these last four boxes, though. This has been one of our weaker cases thus far, so it really needs to needs to man up here. These last four. I would say, like I said, out of, out of 24 cases, if the case ended right now, it'd be bar none the, the weakest case we've had. We did have a Gurley and two digs, Amir Abdullah, but just the other hits come along with it just ain't been what they should be. J J, but yeah. Okay, buddy. Hopefully, that won't be the case. Oh, wow. Coach, this is your first break, man. Who do you have again? I don't remember who you picked. Hopefully, we can get you something, man. We've been rocking contenders in here, dude. Don't let it scare you off from contenders because it's a great product. You got the Ravens. Ravens hit about eight or ten autos last night. I don't think any of them were extraordinarily big, but they hit a lot last night. This stuff is a really nice product, though. One of the biggest products of the year. Yeah, he had a Darren Waller. I remember that. This is just a really oddball case. Like, for real, this is just odd. We still have a decent stack over here, but when I'm, when I'm reaching to put Quan Alexander and Frank Clark in the better stack, kind of sums up the case. Those guys are kind of iffy to be in the better stack. Honestly. probably wouldn't seem as bad to you guys if I wasn't, you know, just straight up telling you it was. <laughs> That's part of it's my attitude right now, but I'm disappointed in it so far. Let's still pull it out, though. We're on box number nine. We got four more. We still got a third of the case, so it ain't over yet. Yep, Buck, Buck Allen, Arbishar, Perryman would be nice for the Ravens. A few cases ago, we pulled the Joe Flacco autograph, five of five. I was to five. I can't remember if it was five or five. Box number nine. Let's see what we got. First autograph up. Oh, it's your boy Alonzo Harris, Miggy. Migsy. Alonzo Harris, rookie ticket. You knew he had to be hiding in there. Let's see if we can get you a better one than that, though. It's probably your local server, Nelson. Hopefully it straightens out quick there for you, buddy. And we're going to double up on Quan Alexander's rookie ticket. Put the Alonzo Harris in a one touch. Gotcha. <laughs> That's a nice one. For the Jets, Leonard Williams. That is a on card playoff ticket. 52 of 199. Could have possibly been the first uh, pick in the draft. They were debating on it and ended up going quarterback. He dropped in the draft a lot further than people expected being pick six. He was projected to be top three for sure. Oh, 
Lord. They're going to give us our third Marcus Golden. Ricky ticket. That Quan. We should have two more autographs here. For the Vikings, Adrian Peterson, 54 of 199 playoff ticket. Shiny. Well, I just uncovered something that's going to make our case quite a bit more spicy. Before we get there, we've got a Deron Smith. Ricky Ticket. This last hit, guys, is actually something that we have not seen in the first 23 cases. Something that we have not seen in the first 23. Maybe that's, you know, part of why this case seems so odd, because it is definitely different than any other one we've had. Hmm. Uh, golden ticket would just be an old redemption. I've got a silver ticket of Cam. I need to show y'all, I guess, because uh, let's just let's just skip over it. Y'all don't want to see that. Y'all don't even want to know what it is. What you talking about? Get rid of the rest of that stuff. Now, so guys, silver tickets and gold tickets are just redemptions. They're not actually in the product. They come in case like a Beckett card. I'll have to show y'all. Matter of fact, I'll just show you after this pack before I start ripping another box open what, what a ticket actually looks like. Not a coach's auto. We've seen a bunch of coach. We've seen a lot of coaches auto. We pulled the Sean Payton one one Super Bowl ticket. How about a live Jameis Winston? We pulled a bunch of his redemptions. We've not had a live one. If you watch many breaks and seen one of these, you know which variation it is, because it is the variation. <laughs> Crack Ice. College variation. 22 of 23. On card, Jameis Winston. So you think maybe they watered down the case a little bit because they threw this bad boy in there? Yeah. That's probably what the case is. Look, Ben's not even here. B. Jensen 23 has the Bucks. He's tried them several times and hit a few Winstons. That is sexiness right there. Bad to the bone, man. So we had that. We had the Deron Smith. We had the Marcus Golden. Leonard Williams playoff ticket on card to 199, which is a nice card. Quan Alexander and Alonzo Harris. I don't think anybody will mind if I take a second to show y'all what a silver ticket looks like. I've had plenty of people ask. I showed it a couple of times, but I don't think everybody will see it. When you get a silver or gold ticket, this is one of last year's. When you redeem it, it comes in a box like this. And what it actually is, it's not graded. It's just encased, encapsulated. But it's actually by Beckett. It's actually printed, like screen printed, like a t-shirt, on either silver or gold. I can tell you here on the back that that's uh, .999 fine silver that it's printed on. The silvers are the two, and the golds are the one. Kevin just hit a DeMarco Murray in another room. Like that, it's on the way, sis. One of the ones and two. They're pretty sexy. But when it comes in the pack, it'll actually just be a redemption. They can't put anything like that in the pack, obviously. I think I had a couple of y'all asked me the other day that I forgot they were showed. So, we're on number 10. And I think that pretty much is the mystery solved there. That's why this case seems a little odd. Hopefully we got some, some heat awaiting us still. That's two cracked ice this case. That old 
with that being said, it definitely can't be called uh, worst case. <laughs> we had four or five now that were kind of just like, they weren't bad. They weren't as bad as this one was, minus the Winston. They weren't the greatest. They are just kind of average. That card is beautiful. Yeah, no doubt. When I go back over the hits in a little bit, though, I think you'll see it's not as bad as we were making it out to be either. It's one of those things, it's like a, a group experiment. One person gets down on it, and then other people start joining in, and it'll influence your decision. <laughs> not necessarily the truth. Let's see what I'm talking about when I go over them. Really appreciate you guys that have been here and hanging out with me, everybody. We got this one done fairly quick tonight. I'm going to go and enjoy some dinner after the break. I would normally stay on and chat with you guys while I was getting the video up and everything, pictures on the Facebook group. I'm going to go ahead and call tonight after the break here. Get everything sorted out and ready to go for uh, my sorting process starting tomorrow. This is the first time in a long time, very long time, I can say that we've done six cases this week. I guess it's been probably about a year. We've had some five case weeks, but it's been, been a good year since we've had a six case week, so I appreciate you guys for that. And we've got one more pack here, and... Box number 10. Let's see what we got in this one. Would it not be crazy now to see just something off the wall to add to it? TJ Clemens. Rookie ticket. For the Vikings. Oh, hey, Ben. What's up, dude? What you up to? We got a gold rookie of the year contender, TJ Yeldon, 120 of 199. Uh, last night when he was in here, he said he was shopping at Target. I'm like, oh, hi, guy. Next up, Byron Jones for the Cowboys. That is a rookie ticket of Byron Jones. Next up is Davis Toll. Cracked ice, Davis Toll. 22 of 23 rookie ticket. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't know a damn thing about Davis Toll. And there's our third cracked ice of the case. He's a fifth round pick, 148 overall. But he was a walk on in college. Uh, Ravens actually hit more than probably any other team in this year's stuff most of the time. Ravens and the Jags. I don't see many Jags tonight either. 
you never know from case to case, man. I just went uh, hitless in three cases in a row with the Panthers, and then I had two cases in a row where I only hit one card in each case, but both were nice. And uh, unless something pulls out in these last two, I'm back to hitless again. But you just never know. Juan Alexander playoff ticket, 45 of 199. Third Juan this time a playoff ticket. <laughs> I know, buddy. It's tough this game we play sometimes. Got a nice one coming up. I still have two more autographs to go. Just revealed one to myself. Looks like yeah, that's gonna be the next one on the deck. Oop, wrong stack. Variation playoff ticket on card 27 of 99. Ty Montgomery. A little something something to mail you, Migsy. Not just the Alonzo Harrison non numbered uh, inserts. That's pretty sweet. And we should have one more here. In this box, hopefully. And there it is. Oh man, this case is getting better, guys. <laughs> Fourth cracked ice, college variation, Garrett Grayson. The regular card like this sells for like 60 bucks. What's the cracked ice go for? His regular rookie ticket sells for 90. I know that off the top of my head just from the guy I was talking about last night. 22 of 23 on card Garrett Grayson. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think Sean had something about that. We just ended up with the, the crappy boxes in the first half. This one has all of a sudden uh, pulled itself from maybe worst case out of 24 to uh, right in the middle of the pack, at least. So we had Garrett Grayson, Craft Ice, 22 of 23, on card, college variation. Variation playoff ticket, 27 of 99, Ty Montgomery. Quan Alexander playoff ticket to 199. A second cracked ice in the same box of Davis Toll to 23. Our only two not going in the better stack are TJ Clemens and Byron Jones rookie tickets. So four out of the six were very nice in that one. What up, Nelson? What's going on, man? What you know good, brother? Besides them hula girls. One cracked ice, a Ty Gurley and an Abdullah, and two or three other decent cards to, to four cracked ice with the Jameis Winston and Anger. That's crazy. You never know. Chilling with a beer. So did you did you move that girl that you had out in California with you to Hawaii? Or she's just gonna come and visit every six months? <laughs> I know you had a girl who's like, she's not my girlfriend, she's just my girl. Oh, Andy. Oh, Andy. We only got two more boxes, man. This one and one more. It's trying to hide behind base. I did. I let the guys know that your internet was out and you were mad and said you have to watch it later. I should have responded back. I just kept, kept on going. But you'll get to see the recap in a second. It'll be worth it. Trust. Definitely heated up in the second case or second half. 
I hear you. I just randomly thought of that. I know we used to talk all the time when she was on her way over and stuff. Random question. A couple other people I know, uh, PC Nelly there was having problems a minute ago. That was probably the, the local server there for him. Seemed like several people were having problems last night. We haven't really had any problems with breakers though in quite a while. Up until yesterday. I didn't miss much. He only missed three cracked ice and yeah, he missed a lot. <laughs> Yeah, he had a couple of those teams. Alright, box number 11. How about a dual autograph to throw in the mix? Tyler Lockett and Jalen Strong. Yep, we just got the crappy half first. Numbered 1 of 25. Tyler Lockett and Jalen Strong's. Jalen Strong. Let's see. Uh. He's got the Leo Inc. has the Seahawks. And No Shelter has the Texans. Uh, Leo's not here. I can text him if you're interested in buying out his half or something, Jesse. If not, I guess we'll just go to random. I'm sure he'll say random. We'll pretty much call that one. Yeah, pretty bland, pretty bland. So we'll run that one to random here in just a few minutes. Pretty sweet. I don't know. I get excited easy. Got me all hyped up now. Seahawks sit there for a long time. Way longer than normal. Last time that Leo had him, that cracked ice, Tyler Lockett hit for him. We've got an Emmett Smith that's numbered, legendary contender, 179 of 199. Yeah, don't give up yet. We'll see, buddy. We shall see. We'll run that random before we do the, the recap. These die cuts never want to go on the penny sleeve smoothly. I was trying to think if I should text him. I don't think he'll he'll probably just say to go to random like you did. I'm pretty sure. Michael Dwyer, we had him earlier in the case, a rookie ticket. Leo won our first annual fantasy football tournament for Oslanders Breaks this year. What was it? Uh, 550 bucks and the $150 championship belt. I have to get us another one of those belts ordered for next year. Oh lord. What is this, our fourth Tyler Croft? It is a different one though. This is a playoff ticket. 36 of 125. Them damn Bengals. Joel over there racking up. He ain't even here. So we got three more autographs. One of them is going to be a redemption. We'll just go ahead and do it now. So we do have three left. Rookie playoff ticket RPS Tevin Coleman. That's for the Falcons. I did not recall who had the Falcons. Laser 9431. Tevin Coleman. He is live already, too, bud, so his stuff will come back pretty quick. Should. He's been live for a while. Majority of them are now. I think Doriel Green Beckham, Philip Dorsett, and like one other one are the only ones that aren't ready to be redeemed. I haven't been signed yet, rather. Really. 
And we got a second Deron Brown, rookie ticket. It's going to be our fifth autograph in box 11, so we should have one more. Nah, Ben, I'm sorry, man. What are you up to, dude? You shopping at Target again tonight? Just had dinner. Tell the wifey I said, what's up, man? Hadn't spoke to her in a while. I'm going to do a recap. You might want to stick around for here in a minute, though. We got one more box after this one. There should be one more autograph here. There we go. Bernardrick McKinney. This is the regular playoff ticket. 36 of 125. Yeah, once we... We're going to do the recap, guys. Y'all give me a grade on the case overall after the recap. We've been doing that the last three or four cases just for fun. General consensus is the last three have either been B's or B pluses. I went out to dinner with a friend. All right, Bernardrick McKinney, playoff ticket to 125, Deron Brown, rookie ticket, Tevin Coleman, playoff ticket, redemption, Tyler Croft, playoff ticket to 125, Michael Dwyer, and we had the duel, Tyler Lockett and Jalen Strong, 1 of 25, that will random here in just a few minutes. Let's see, I'm going to say that Bernardrick McKinney and Tevin Coleman were worthy of the better stack there. That's partially my fault. Somebody in the room was talking about how bad the case was, and I jumped on board the, on board the bandwagon and started kind of pissing me off having only one nice card in every box for the first half there. Just about every box. Second half definitely heated up. <laughs> Joe. Wow. Hopefully, if you don't have a hit, I can pull you in here. I can't recall who all's hitless. I can tell you the Panthers are because I have them. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. I know there's probably two or three other teams that don't have anything at all yet. Uh, Nelson, I'm going to do a full recap after this box of everything in the case. Well, I need to run that random first, and then I'll do a recap. You know what? Yeah, I think the Titans are totally hitless. I don't normally do the recap thing, but I don't normally do cases that take an hour and 45 minutes or whatever to break, so I've always done them on contenders. I don't think the Jags have got anything in this case either, which is really odd. Coach says it's one more raving. Come on. Oh, yeah, we had to Rashad. I forgot about that one. See, that was really early on. I already forgot about it. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Oh, this is one of these weird boxes where everything's turned all funky. Last one we had like this was a good box, though. So bear with me on this one. This is going to take a little while, while longer to sort through. I'll make sure y'all see everything coming out. Let's 
First up is a Devin Smith playoff ticket, 117 of 199 on card. Yep. Was it last night or night before we had one like this? And it was an awesome box. One of the two. There's a Jameis Winston pennant, 81 of 99 on that one. I tried to wake you up, Bob. I sent you a text. It just said, wake up. I knew that's why it happened. I figured you'd want your red skin. We ended up doing a 10 spot, 7 winner to fill the break. This is the very last box. I'm about to do a random after this box, and then uh, for a dual autograph, and then we'll do a recap. I think there may have been some teams bought the next case to the store, but I haven't checked yet. If anybody wants to reserve a team for Monday, but it will be Monday before I'm back. There's a Max Williams variation on card rookie ticket. There you go, coach. Variation rookie ticket, Max Williams. It is on card. Second round pick, number 55 overall, Max Williams. Appreciate you jumping in, man. Hanging out with us tonight. we got a good group of guys that hang out in here. I have, I have fun regardless. That's what the crew we got. Uh-oh, we got a Bud Dupree. I want to talk to Andy about a couple cards, it sounds like. Bud Dupree, rookie ticket. Is that not is that a short print or a super short print? Or is it the variation? I'm not sure. Alvin Bud Dupree. Now he does not come out very often. Short print. So three more autographs. First three were were nice. Hopefully three more anyway. Oh, we don't get shorted again. Hate that commercial, Bob. So ridiculous. Oh, there's another one. <coughs> Excuse me. Josh Harper championship ticket, six of forty nine for the Raiders. Got a rookie ink coming. Oh, very nice. Chris Connolly. Chris Connolly, 77 of 99 on card rookie ink for the Chiefs. Dude, right there is a rising star for sure. Check out his stats from his rookie season. He's going to be a very nice player in the league. Yeah, it's definitely different. I mean, their whole idea of, well, let's get something that's really strange. 
what's popular puppies monkeys and babies and combine it together but I don't know it's more annoying than funny to me but to each their own obviously it's captured everybody's attention so it did what the intended goal was well last hit hopefully coming up here unless we uh, only got five autographs I'll be damned never give up guys Look at that shit. Panthers with the last hit in the break. Cameron Artist Payne, variation rookie ticket. Never give up. Okay, Jesse, I'll, I'll write that down. Try to remember not to send the other stuff. I wish it would have been better for you, bud. I greatly appreciate you swooping through and helping finish filling it there, man. You always been a real cool dude. I, I appreciate you. I wish it would have been better. Is really all I can say, man. Um, I have no idea. It's a short print. Short print, I think, or the regular ticket is. I'm not sure. Kevin says it's a short print. Well, see, the first, the first like ten cases, I had like three or four of them, but that was the regular rookie ticket. This one's a variation, so I'm not sure. That's the reason why I said that, but I haven't pulled an autograph of them in like 10 cases now. This is the first one we've seen. It's the variation, not the regular, so I don't know. But anyway, variation, Cameron Artist Payne, rookie ticket, rookie ink, Chris Conley, on card to 199. Josh Harper, championship ticket to 49. Bud Dupree, short print, rookie ticket. Max Williams, variation, on card, rookie ticket. And Devin Smith to 199, playoff ticket. I consider all those better than the average hits except for that Josh Harper maybe even though it was the 49 so granted I did take some liberties at the beginning of the break by putting Quan Alexander and a few people that could have went in either stack in the better stack but look at how our stacks match up the eh, autographs to the better it's a thicker stack than we've had in a while but like I said I did put a, some Quans in there it may not should be so let's run this random and then we'll go over all the hits Get this set up right quick, guys. Keep in mind, I'm not in the chat, so I'm going to miss a bunch of the chat here for a little bit. We'll roll the dice, anything but a two on the dice. And just to show the the change, we'll put Seahawks, Texans, Seahawks, Texans, doing them both twice. They can just see when the random changes. This is between Leo Inc. and No Shelter, Leo and Jesse. Yeah, this is a two packers, Mark. All right, let's go ahead and do our. Random. Anything but a two on the dice. So it's a two. We'll re-roll. We're going five times. Good luck, Leo and Jesse. One. Two. Three, four, fifth and final time. Look at that. Said you didn't have a chance. That one's going to no shelter. Congrats, buddy. Let me switch back over. We'll do our recap. That was definitely an odd case. Let's go over our kind of eh autographs first. The rookie tickets, unless I say, you know, otherwise, just how I say rookie ticket 80 times. Josh Harper, championship ticket to 49. Michael Dwyer, 
Tyler Croft playoff ticket to 125. Deron Brown, Byron Jones, TJ Clemens, Deron Smith, Marcus Golden, Alonzo Harris, JJ Nelson, that boy fast, Marcus Golden again, Deron Smith again, Dominique Brown, Vince Maley on card variation playoff ticket to 99, Dreamus Smith, Ifo Ikpre Olamu, uh, variation and playoff ticket to 49, Josh Robinson, Eric Rowe, Tyrell Williams, uh, Gerard Holloman, Danielle Hunter, Nick O'Leary, Dorian Grant, Jeremy Davis, Jalen Collins, Marcus Golden again, Dominique Bryan again, Jake Waters, Ryan Smith a third time, Paul Dawson, Mario Alford, Kenny Bell, Michael Dwyer again, uh, Sinquez Golson, Tyler Croft playoff ticket to 125, Deron Brown again, Eric Armstead championship ticket to 99, Ray Neal Hall, Darren Waller, Jordan Hicks, probably could have went in another stack, Josh Robinson, and Tyler Croft, and some of our better hits. One of 25, Tyler Lockett and Jalen Strong, dual auto, variation, rookie ticket, on card, Max Williams, Devin Smith, playoff ticket, the 199, on card, Alvin, a.k.a. Bud Dupree, we know it's a short print, on card, rookie, Inc., to 99, Chris Conley, variation, rookie ticket, Cameron Artis, bringing the pain, Tevin Coleman, playoff ticket for the Falcons, Bernardrick McKinney, the 125 playoff ticket. Davis Toll, 22 of 23, cracked ice rookie ticket for the Saints. Quan Alexander, the 199 playoff ticket. Variation playoff ticket to 99 on card. Ty Montgomery. Garrett Grayson, Grayson, college variation cracked ice. What up, Andy? On card, 22 of 23. Quan Alexander, rookie ticket. On card playoff ticket to 199. Of Leonard Williams, Frank Clark rookie ticket, Stefan Diggs on card rookie ticket, Jesse James cracked ice 17 of 23, variation rookie ticket, Juan Alexander again, Matt Jones rookie of the year contender autograph for the Redskins, JJ on card playoff ticket to 199, Stefan Diggs variation rookie ticket on card. Zach Zinner rookie ticket, Todd Gurley rookie ticket for the Rams, Benodrick McKinney, the variation rookie ticket, it's a short print, or super short print maybe, can't remember which one it was, uh, Devin Smith rookie ticket, rookie championship ticket variation, Philip Dorsett for the Colts, Rashad Green to 199, Rookie of the Year contender on card. Amir Abdullah, Rookie ticket. And this guy, is he any good? Of course, Ben left the room. But I was all kind of a build up by not telling him since he wasn't here to surprise him at the end. And he's not even here. But Jameis Winston, Rookie ticket, college variation. One of his few live autographs without being a redemption. Sexiness, sexiness. Guys, thank you all once again. I'm going to go ahead and call it a wrap for the week. I got a lot of sorting and shipping to do over the next couple of days. Uh, post office is closed Monday once again for anybody that didn't hear me earlier, so I'll make sure everything goes out Tuesday. If uh, anybody wants to grab a team, I'll have a uh, list here in the room. It's always at oslandersbreaks.medu.com. Medu is two I's and two U's. M-I-I. D-U-U. If you're on the Facebook group, the, uh, the link's always on there. If you're not and you want to be, just request an ad down below. Right, you're welcome, Sean and Andy. Sean already bounced. 
Jesse, thank you, man. Thanks for coming back and jumping in my breaks. That was a pleasant surprise the last couple weeks, man. It's good to see you back. Ah, uh, thanks, Nelson, buddy. Got a nice card shipping out to you. I got, I got to remember to put you a couple of magnetics in there too, man. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for being here. Well, old Smitty, Joe, thank you, buddy. Yep, something like that's the game plan. I have a feeling she's gonna be too tired tonight. She's got to get up at like five in the morning to work. I still got a couple hours of stuff to do here before I get completely done. All right, well, at least an hour. I hear you. Sometimes it, that's what you need is a break, man. No doubt. You got to do what's best for you, brother. Been seeing some of the old crew come back through since like Thanksgiving on to about right now when Contenders and National Treasures comes out. There'll be some more bounce back. Miss the old crew we used to have, man. We got a good one now, too, though. Till Monday, fellas. Islanders breaks. We out. You guys can always hit me up. Email, text, Facebook. You too, buddy. Everybody have a good one. See y'all Monday if I don't talk to you before then. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Later, fellas.